In chapter 21 of Wuthering Heights, Mrs. Dean remembers a conversation she had with Zilla, the servant. Zilla tells Mrs. Dean Heathcliff dislikes Linton and would dislike him even more if he knew to what extent Linton pampers himself. Then the story jumps ahead to Catherine's 16th birthday. Hareton and Heathcliff catch Catherine when she wanders onto Heathcliff's property. Catherine has never met her uncle, but remembering meeting Hareton a few years earlier, wants to know if Hareton is Heathcliff's son. Heathcliff entices Catherine to come to Wuthering Heights by telling her that Hareton is not his son, but he does have a son, and Catherine knows him. Back at Wuthering Heights, Catherine and Linton see each other for the first time since they met. Catherine is astounded that he has been so close all this time, let alone that Heathcliff is her uncle. She asks if she can visit Linton often, and Heathcliff explains his feud with Edgar. But Catherine thinks her father is in the wrong. She suggests Linton come to Thrushcross Grange to visit instead. Linton says four miles is too far for him to walk. This disgusts Heathcliff, and Linton irritates his father even more by ignoring Catherine, preferring to sit quietly. Heathcliff calls Hareton over and suggests he show Catherine around the farm. When Catherine sees Hareton, she asks Heathcliff if he's really her cousin, whispers something to him, and leaves with Hareton. Heathcliff tells Mrs. Dean how Hareton is the better boy than Linton, and he can sympathize with all his feelings, having felt them myself. Mrs. Dean doesn't like Linton either. He explains how he taught Hareton to hate everything beyond the physical, conditioning him to live in a state of ignorance. Linton, regretting his decision to stay behind, catches up to Catherine and Hareton, just as Catherine is asking why it says Hareton Earnshaw above the door, revealed early on in the novel. But Hareton cannot read. <laughs> Catherine and Linton mock Hareton's illiteracy, which hurts Heathcliff to overhear. Catherine returns to Thrushcross Grange and scolds her father for lying to her about Linton living far away. Edgar explains why Catherine cannot return to Wuthering Heights or contact Linton, but she writes to him anyway. When Mrs. Dean discovers the letters, she makes Catherine burn them. Linton is a distorted mirror image of Heathcliff as a child, which reinforces ideas of pity versus judgment in the novel. Remember the unfair judgment and lack of pity the Earnshaws had for Heathcliff long ago? Here, it flows directly into Linton and Catherine's judgment of Hareton, also a double for Heathcliff. History is repeating. Matching in temperament is very important in the love and obsession theme in Wuthering Heights. Catherine and Linton's relationship grows through purely intellectual activities. Mrs. Dean does not see real value or love between Catherine or Linton because it isn't based on anything physical. Love being physical, not just in a sexual sense, was an unusual idea in Victorian England, which privileged the intellect and spirit above the body. 